Hello everyone, I'm Chimmy Joe. Today we're playing Momir Madness on Magic Arena. Uh, yeah, Magic Arena. <laughs> I was gonna say Magic Arena online, but there is no Magic Arena that is offline, so. Well, we go first. Skip the one, like usual. Fast turn. Super Taft. <laughs> Does that mean he's fat or fatter than Taft? Because that would be impressive. They are going to go for a two. Incubation Druid. Wild Growth Rocker. Okay. Well, let's hope for some Explorer creatures on three. All right, Jade Light Ranger. Let's go. Give me Jade Light Ranger. It's not gonna give me Jade Light Ranger. Boom. <laughs> oh boy. Sacrifice a creature. Create two colorless artifacts. Alright. That's interesting. I could spend a turn ramping by getting rid of Wild Growth, Rock Wild Growth Walker. So, if I ignore four, what's this one? You gain two life, okay. So let's make a four, ignore five, and then sacrifice something, ooh, sacrifice something better, no attacks. Okay, so now we have a 1-1 one, one to sacrifice. We'll use the 5 turn to create two colorless artifacts. Two treasures. Uh, it wasn't kicked, so it's still a 4-4 four, four flyer. But 5, then we drop a land for 6. Have two for 7-8. Okay, so let's drop a... Uh, let's get Wooberg online. We will... Sacrifice... Mr. 1-1. One -one. To get colorless tokens. Let's see. It actually nets us more if we do it one more time. So we do five... Six, seven, eight, nine. So next turn we can we can actually do nine. Oh, yeah, black. There we go. This one. Okay, pass the turn. So next turn we can um, potentially get a, a good nine drop. And if we end up with Zakama, we might be able to kill the blade wing. That's five. Yep. Search your library. Nope. For a card named Hawatli Dinosaur Knight. That's the Planeswalker, but it's got lands in his deck, so he's going to attack for four. I'm okay trading with this. With either one of these, actually. Yep. Taking four. And this turn... We'll drop... I guess it doesn't really matter. So we Momir for nine. Discard a card. Get a seven five. Not exactly what I wanted, but... It is a seven five. Oh, that's pretty good, too. He doesn't have double blue, though, so he can't make it blockable. Although, it's completely possible that he ends up dropping a, a blue source. What did I say? Seven? Yeah, there we go. Thornwood Elemental. That's not bad. 
I will attack in with this because I need to put some pressure. There, see, now we're even. There's the blue source, and he can make that unblockable and swing in for eight. Right? Takes seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Takes all of his mana to swing in unblockable for eight. However, we have a guaranteed seven next turn. He probably will still. Nope, he won't swing in with the other one. So he's only going to hit me for four? What's this one? Gain two life. Okay. 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 That's what I thought. So we have a guaranteed seven. I'm gonna drop an eight. And that doesn't really do anything. Does that have trample? It does have trample. Four, eight. Um, he wins. So, attack with everything. <laughs> Let's see how much damage we can actually pull off in this one. He's going to block with the thing that gives him two life. If he wants to win, he has to keep the squid or crab or whatever this is. Serpent. Okay, this is a better block. He's taking seven. Why is he double blocking that one? Okay. Uh, what is he blocking? Oh, that? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Gains two life. Makes that unblockable and then attacks for everything? Yep. We lose. Metal fingers. It is appropriate that he has Angrath as his avatar. Metal fingers. Alright. So I'm gonna try not to get two. I'm gonna try to skip two drops. Okay, you got a 1 1 unblockable. I am going to skip my two drop because I can't play anything that'll block it. And that's fine. We'll just be taking one damage a turn. What is this? Beam splitter? That's nah, just a 2 2 body. Good card, though. Um, we will make a 3. Add a mana of any color. Well, it's a 2 3 body. Box the beam splitter mage. What? Oh, okay. Till end of turn. Yeah, this is fine. I'll split with that. It was gonna die to that anyway. Four drop is good. There's a lot of four drops. The one of the best ones is um, Tesa. It's not Tesa. I don't need to scry. I don't care. Although we have three in the air now. Can't be blocked by white creatures. Alright, that's unfortunate. Ooh, that's never untapping. <laughs> Alright, five drop. Ooh, nice. Like the flyers. That's cool. Again, can't be blocked by white creatures. So, so far we are winning the race. <laughs> he hasn't read his card. Can't be blocked. Um, we are going for six. Ooh, Skull Gator. Um, one, two, let's see, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, eventually we'll be able to do that, but if, um, if he doesn't find a, a flyer anytime soon, we're just going to win in the air. Then that's a flyer. <laughs> that's unfortunate. And we will block the dowser. Uh, 
two, three, six, seven. Come on. Elder Dragon. Oh, that works too, I guess. That sucks. <laughs> it's still a 6-6 six, six body, I guess. Ugh. Um, what did I do? Six, uh, seven, eight. Eight it is. Although seven's probably still better. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good one. <laughs> All right. Chalk one up for Jimmy Joe. Ooh, we got a card. Sentinel Totem. What a fantastic card. It's not a bad graveyard hate card, but that's all it does. Pay one to scry, and then you can sacrifice to get rid of graveyard. If you've noticed, um, if you were wondering why my avatar has been changing, it's because I haven't set a default. Um, every time I update magic, it... Uh, it always deselects my avatar, so I just don't care about it anymore. Gives me a random one every time. It's kind of nice. Rotates through them all. Passion. Hmm. Interesting name. Uh, yes, we will go for a two drop. Well, that is a crappy two drop. I mean, it's still a one three, but ugh, gross. See, I would have much rather had that, but um, that's fine. We're gonna skip three. We're gonna go for the uh, sweet four drops. And that one will never do anything. This blocks him for days until he actually gets it. Um, adapted. Adept. Gotta adept it. Oh. Cool. Well, if I ever get things with 1 1 counters. I recently put one of these in my uh, Animar deck for EDH, and uh, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Animar always has counters, makes them always unblockable. Uh, 2 2 flyers, not bad. We will go for a 5 drop. Potentially skip six. Ooh, what's this? Journey made a return target creature to its owner's hand. Nice. Alright, so we are going to get rid of this because it can turn into a six six. Um no attacks. I don't think I've seen that one either. What is that? 4-4 four, four flyer, that's what it is. He can pay to essentially draw land, because that's what's in his deck. If you have the top card of your library, you may play the card without paying its mana cost if you don't exile. Oh, can he actually do it? Oh no, play. Yeah, so he will be able to play the land if you wanted to pay 4 for it. Um, 6 drop. Gravewalker is a good blocker. I like it. I can't attack, really, but I like it. <laughs> Maybe we'll just stick to seven drops and see what kind of dragons we can pull. Gross. Ooh. That one's cool. Um... Since we have another flyer, I'm going to attack with the flyer. If he double blocks, it'll kill one of his flyers, probably the Jin, And we'll be able to get in for five next turn as well. Hexproof from Monocolored. Yep, that's what I figured would happen. Let's get rid of this so we can't get more lands. And that's fine. Kind of wish it gave you like a list of things that die. Oh, I've lost to this card so many times.
Yeah, let's get rid of that one. It's gonna make it a 5-5 and he can buff it next turn. I'm gonna stick to 7 drops, I think. Because that has the most flyers. Well, it's plus one, plus one to any turn for each land you control. That's okay. Okay, sounds good. Um, I'm going to attack here just because he's going to activate it later to try to... And it'll boost this. Oh, he doesn't. Wow. Okay, well, he's going to attack. Eventually. I need more 7 drops. Give me more. What is this? Tax. Other creatures gain. Double strike. Ooh, that's really good. Um, I am going to attack with both of these. <laughs> Deal with a 15-15 trample. Go ahead. Throw stuff underneath the bus. That's not how that works, dude. Okay, there you go. Okay. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, 9 still gets through? No. 4. 4 gets through. Wow, my math is bad. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Boom, 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 boom. Sick. Okay, cool. Um, we win next turn if he can't deal with that 7-7. Uh, seven, seven. And I know he can't activate it more than once. Or more than three times? It costs four. And he's only got six, seven, eight mana. So he can only activate it twice. And he's not going to. I am perfectly fine with this. Because this wins. Yay, good game. <laughs> Finally. Oh, I, rec I recorded... Uh, two other runs of Momir, and I lost on the first, like, thing each time. Ooh, pack. Let's open a pack. What do we get? We got... What? Uh, that's, that's not terrible. Uh, it's not that great. <laughs> but it's not terrible. <laughs> I haven't seen it in any decks, so... All right, we go first, so let's skip the one drop. Probably gonna skip the two drop too. Oh, look at that Tin Street Dodger. We'll go for two. We'll skip three. Ooh, nice. This is this is actually really good. This is good for us. Hopefully he attacks, because I would love to start getting this up. Oh, he doesn't attack? What? Why? Alright, we're gonna skip three. We'll go for four. Four's got really good stuff. Talent of Atonement dies, you gain life equal to his toughness. Alright, cool. Whenever a dinosaur deals damage. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks. I. Very much appreciate you growing, my dude. Whoops. Cancel. Cancel, 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 cancel. Okay. Four. Thank you. Oh! Oh! I just got rid of my last forest. Oh no! <laughs> okay, no cat. No attacks. Oh, Shalai is so good in Momir. There's, no, there's like almost no removal. Like, the biggest removal spell is the Chaos Maw that deals 3 damage to everything. That's good. I just really wish I could draw another... <laughs> um, another green source. We will make a 5. Not terrible. Let's see, they can block that. I'm just gonna not attack. I will attack with the 5-5 five, five Vigilance next turn. This can adapt. But he doesn't have blue. And he just got rid of his blue. Uh, it deals 1 damage to target creature defending player controls. Neat. Um, we will make a 6. Put 
That is a 7-7 seven, seven Hexproof. A little attack with the 5-5. Five, five. Does this have Trample? No, it just has Vigilance. And just throw something under the bus with it. Uh, okay, it looks like he's going to try to kill it. No. Okay. That's fair. I'm okay with attacking with a 5-5 Vigilance just because it's going to start to get rid of his board. And if we can find another green source, we'll start putting counters on everything. Oh, God. That's... That's rough. That one's going to be rough. Oh, no. That's, be that's going to come become a 20-20 next turn. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Um, attack with this, attack with this. He's going to have to chump things, but that ever is going to... Unless I can find a removal spell. A removal creature. Ability zero. Hexproof. Uh, yes. Oh my god, he blocked with the Evra. Oh, he does not understand the value of Evra, though. Oh my god, he could have just won that last turn. Five, six. I almost want to do six drops just so I can get... Um... Oh, yes! Alright. Bam. One one counters. <laughs> and just for the hell of it, I might as well do a two drop. Sometimes I can get the one one flyer that gets... Okay, that doesn't do anything. That's fine. Uh, attack with this. Attack with this. Oh, I didn't realize you got a Wrecking Beast. When did you get that? Shows how much I pay attention. Oh, well, whatever. Oh! Oh, no. I misplayed. I didn't real. I guess I didn't read that card. That's unfortunate. Six, seven, eight. All uh, right, we're just gonna do this. And we're going to attack with this because even if he double blocks, it's not going to kill me. I'm okay with him dealing damage to me due to the Paladin of Atonement getting bigger. Nice. Too bad it dies. <laughs> but he did get a lot of card draw. Kinda sucks. Yep. Oh, I forgot about the double strike. Crap. Um. Uh. Crap. Well, we're gonna throw this in front of this, and I have to throw this on over this. We it is gonna grow bigger. Oh no, he's not because. It's not the end of the turn. <sighs> I misjudged the double strike on that card. <laughs> Alright, well, we got two wins. Forerunner. Search for a pirate. And, yeah, that one's okay. That's not terrible. Um, Alright, well, that concludes this video of Momir. Thanks for watching. Um, again, if you are new to my channel, feel free to browse the playthroughs that I have been going on um, and that Lady Panther has been working on. Like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye!